pork loin. Mild, lean, safe, boring. But today I'm gonna to show you the basic technique of stuffing a pork loin to pack it with flavor. We're making a pork loin stuffed with sausage. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We share recipes for food, hors d'oeuvres, cocktails, and we share entertaining tips too. Now we try and keep it all as simple as we can, especially for those of you out there who say that you just cannot cook or entertain because we know that you really can. So if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and you'll get a new episode every single week. Today, our celebration is all about pork loin, stuffed pork loin to be exact. We're gonna be making a pork loin stuffed with sausage. Now, this is a basis recipe, meaning once you learn this basis, you will be able to take it in a million different directions. In fact, stick with me all the way till the end because I'm going to show you three other ways that you can make this roast. So let's get started. I have here lovely center cut pork loin. Now this is actually a half of a pork loin. Uh, they used to come about nine to 10 pounds. The one I bought was nine pounds. So this is about four and a half pounds. These are wonderful. Very lean, very delicious, but I want to take it up a little bit more. So we're going to stuff it today. Now, very easy to do. All you need is a sharp knife right here. We're just going to cut down right down the center and make an incision. Now we're not cutting all the way through to the cutting board. We just want to cut maybe a third of the way down, if that, just to start to open it up. And you can see I'm starting to make shallower cuts with the tip of my knife just to open it. Now this is called butterflying. Now I've got that about open as deep as I want it to be. I'm going to do the two sides. You just turn your knife like this, and again, little cuts. They don't have to be one perfect line. You want to kind of open it as you're going. And then it opens up. We'll do the other one. Okay. Now, if you're really scared to do this, your butcher could do this for you, but really, you might as well do it yourself. Again, just take your time. If you really cut too, too deeply, cut a chunk off, don't worry. Just cut it across, make pork chops, you'll be fine. Okay, now see what you end up with is this wonderful opened up canvas, if you will, for flavor. Now, what flavor am I going to be adding? We're using sage and sausage today. Sage goes wonderfully with pork. But first, we want to add a little flavor to the pork itself. So I'm just going to give it some salt and pepper. Just like that, pretty generously. and some freshly ground pepper. Now note, I have my salt and pepper in my little dishes because I'm touching this and everything will be, have pork juice on them so I can just wash everything when I'm done. Next is the sage. This is sage. I've just chiffonade, which means I just cut it up in little strips. I'm just going to sprinkle it. This is five or six leaves that I took. Use fresh sage if you can get it. It really makes all the difference in this recipe. Mm, I love that smell. Now I have a pound of pork sausage. This is just, it's not even Italian sausage, it's just I found it in, in the butcher section. Uh, it was actually uh, ground sausage meat that has sage in it as well, so we're getting double sage. Very easy to find. We're going to use 
our best kitchen tools, our impeccably clean hands, and we're just going to put this throughout this whole thing, this whole pound. Alrighty, now I've got this all spread out. <clears throat> now you can notice that I didn't go too close to the edges because I don't want it to leak out. It may anyway when I tie this up, but hopefully it won't. Now I'm gonna move this over out of the way. I have my little baking tray here. You notice there's lengths of butcher twine. Now a lot of chefs have that fancy way of lassoing it and looping it through. I can do it this better this way. I like it this way better. You just lay them out equal, equal lengths, equal distance apart as best you can. So let's put this carefully over onto the, just like that. Okay. All right. Now, this is the fun part. Some of you are probably scared right now, but don't be. It's easy. You take your twine, your butcher's twine, bring it up, wrap it around once, twice, and then pull it together right in the center. And then tie it in a knot. Now, how easy was that? You can do it. Let's do another one. Now you want to cut these extra long. One, two, there you go. All right, I'll just keep going. All right, here's the last one. Very easy. Just tying some knots. That's that. Now, we want to just trim these off. You can use your kitchen shears, you can use your knife. Just that simple. Okay, here we are, beautifully all trussed up. Now you notice some of the sausage is poking out the end. That's okay, it's gonna happen. But look how pretty that is. Now, I'm gonna add a little more seasoning to the top to the outside. Now you may have seen these in the stores where they've wrapped them in bacon. I'm not doing that today because there's so much pork on pork action as it is. And honestly, you can if you want to certainly, but I kind of feel like it's getting overdone. Everything's getting wrapped in bacon. This will be delicious just as is. All right, nice and seasoned on the outside. Now it's time for this to go into the oven. Now I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees and we're gonna bake this or roast it until an internal temperature of 135. Now I know you're thinking that's too low for pork. Trust me, it will be fine, 135. So here we go, off to the oven. Okay, here we are. Our roast is out of the oven. It took a little over an hour, maybe an hour and 10, and I pulled it at 135. Now, you're probably wondering, that seems awful low, but before you call the pork police, what I did was I pulled it out, I covered it loosely with foil to tent it, and I let it rest. Now what happened there? Carryover cooking. This piece of meat kept cooking, even though it was out of the oven. And now, I just checked it, and it was 143 degrees. You want your pork to be no more than 145. After that, it gets too well done. Now, I also cut off all but one of the little strings. I just wanna show you how easy it is. Lift it up, snip, and it just comes right off. And you just discard. How simple. But more importantly, look how beautiful that is. The butcher's twine held its shape. It's cooked evenly. So let's cut it open and see what it looks like. Got my nice big slicing knife. We're gonna cut right in the middle so I can show you how beautiful this is. Oh, 
Look at that. That looks delicious. Mmm. I'm gonna have a little taste right now. Push this aside. And I'm just gonna cut a little bit. No one will know. Just a little slice right here. Mm -mm -mm. Now I want to get some of that sausage and some of that pork. Mmm. 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 Wow. That is so incredible. Oh. Now, you'll notice that some of this here is white. Some of this is a little pinkish, a little different color. It's just a different part of the muscle group. It's perfectly fine that it's, it's a different color and that's a little pink. You want, actually, you want that to be a little pink. It's delicious. It's fully, fully cooked. All right, here we are. I promise you a bit of a surprise. I promise you three other ways to make a pork loin. So, this is the other half of the giant pork loin that I bought. And I stuffed it with three different stuffings. Don't be afraid to try this. Practice it, it's so much fun. Let's start in the center. In the center, it's one of my favorites. How I started making this dish is with peppers and spinach. <gasps> Look at that color. Look at that. That's stunning. Now, I'll move this over for a minute. We turn this guy around. This end, I have cranberries and apples. What goes better with pork than apples? Apples and cranberries. So we'll just cut right here. Ha oh, delicious. Now that's gonna be sweet and tangy and just wonderful. And how much fun is that? Just one more. This end I stuffed with mushrooms and garlic. Ha oh, oh, oh. beautiful. Beautiful, and mushrooms and garlic go so well with pork. So here you have it, three other flavors to stuff a pork loin. All right guys, as always, we'll have the recipe up in the comment section on YouTube and on our website. And as always, follow us on social media. So we will see you again next Tuesday at 7 p.m. because you're all invited Come on over, come on in, let's celebrate. Cheers.